Hey everybody, it's Carol with Refunction Crafts, and today I'm going to bring you what I think will be a fairly not too long video. I know I've been doing a lot of longer videos recently, um, just based on the projects that I've been doing. And this one, um, this is again, this is another butterfly video. You guys know I am just crazy about butterflies and anything that has to do with them and I've been looking looking for really pretty butterfly images and things that I can use to um, do some of my butterflies and this time I decided these are going to be my my butterflies covered in resin and um, as you can see here I have some of them here in this box look at how beautiful these are they come out so sparkly I used glass glitter and resin in these and that's what we're going to be doing today I'm going to show you how I incorporate I mean from start to finish the whole process um, from cutting the butterfly out to um, I've got some that are already cut out here that we're going to play with a little bit and so from cutting it out to um, making it look like this so um, I'm going to read you a quick inspirational quote and then we're going to get busy on this. Uh, my quote is uh, this, the smile on my face does not mean my life is perfect. It means that despite my challenges, I choose to focus on my blessings. So um, I, I pretty much live that day to day. Um, you guys know I work, and when I'm at work, I am always smiley and cheerful and happy, and um, I, I manage to probably at least once a day get a comment from someone who comes in that says, wow, you really are a, a very happy person. You smile a lot, and I'm so glad that you were here today. So, you know, something like that I get, and you know what? It makes my day makes me feel better and it makes me feel like my whole theory about being kind is worth it so um, I, I'm very big on that <clears throat> I don't care if somebody comes in and is grumpy I'm still going to be kind to them because like I've said in the past I don't know what they're going through and what's going on in their life and you know that they are um, having a bad day or what have you um, and nine times out of ten, I can eventually get even that person to smile. So um, I try very hard to make that happen. But anyway, so let's get on with these butterflies and start making some sparkle. I've got a, a bowl full of them, and these butterflies are going to be um, for sale in my Etsy shop as well. I'm going to be putting some packages together. Um, and actually I plan to do that before I post this video so that they will be ready to go look at that one and that one I just I put the glitter glass around the edges and then it's got resin of course across the whole butterfly I'll just show you a couple of these these butterflies here I found the images and I just about died when I saw them because I thought oh those would be so pretty look at those aren't they gorgeous I thought they were really really different you know and I I'm always looking for something that's different not the everyday I like the ones that look like natural butterflies as well and I do a lot of those but look at these oh my goodness you guys I will be selling these in my store and I think Whenever I do anything with butterflies, they seem to um, fly off the shelf pretty quickly. Now this one here, I did not put any glass glitter on it. It's just resined. I'm thinking about adding a layer of glass glitter to it though because I really love the way these turned out. And this is the only one I have in here that doesn't have it. I do have a few others that I've done that don't have glass glitter, but these were the ones that I did in the last couple of days. So I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful these turn out. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. The one thing that you should always have handy when you're working with resin, um, first of all, I guess I'll show you. This is called Let's Resin, and you can see here it's UV resin, 
and I get it on Amazon. Real quick, I'm going to show you guys, and I will post a link. This is the, um, when I bought it the first time, or actually my husband bought it, he bought me this kit, and the kit comes with two bottles of resin, it comes with a uh, UV lamp, this mat that we have right here, you all, you want to have this mat because it keeps thing keeps the resin from sticking, and it keeps your area from getting resin all over it. Um, so it comes with the mat. It comes with a little uh, cup that you can pour resin into if you want to mix um, like mica powder or something like that into it. With UV resin, my suggestion is to not use it with um, colors with colored paints or, or acrylics or anything like that because it has a harder time curing if you add something to it because the UV rays can't get through that paint. So my suggestion is use this as a clear resin coating that you want to put on top of things. I don't use it for anything else. And then it comes with a couple of, let's see, stir sticks and that's about it but that is what we ordered the first time and I have already almost run out of this resin because I've been using it so much so today just to show you that was um, $21 for that kit and then today I went ahead and ordered more of the resin so I bought this no not this one Oh gosh, I hope I got the Let's Resin. Oh yeah, this one. I bought this set, and this is also the Let's Resin, and it's got the three bottles, and I got the three bottles for $20.99. So um, now I will have three more bottles, so that's 300 grams, and those will last me a little while. So I just wanted to show you guys, and I will link both of those um, to the in the description menu um, of this video. The other thing you want to make sure that you have plenty of handy is I've got these little alcohol pads. I keep these around for doing my resin stuff always, or just have a bottle of isopropyl alcohol handy with maybe some cotton swabs or at least a paper towel or something so that you can clean your hands. Generally you should be wearing gloves when you do this. I am not going to be using gloves today because it hinders my ability to do things the way I want to do them. So pretend I'm wearing gloves. Okay I have a butterfly right here. I'm gonna just and really all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my images um, whether I have some that I've, I've purchased or I find free printables. You can find a lot of free printables on Pinterest, you guys. So get on Pinterest and have a look at all of the beautiful butterflies you can find right there and for free. You don't have to pay for, for everything. There's a lot of free printables there and I think a lot of people don't realize that. So um, so get on there and have a look, but you're just going to go around and cut your butterfly as close to the edge as you can. Let's finish cutting this out. I mean, I don't really need to do this. I've already got one of these cut out and I could probably save time on this video by not doing it, but I said I was going to do it start to finish and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So this is an easy part. You just want to make sure you get around everything. I'm leaving the head on. I'm not going to cut that off. There are times when I cut these out when I do cut the head and tail off. Um, not completely down the middle, but you know, the part that's sort of sticking out. And generally when I do that, it's if I'm doubling up the butterflies. And I am going to do a, uh, try and do a double one today to show you guys. Um, you know, you can put them together and you can make the, the 2D butterflies that are nice to add to your memory boxes or your uh, journals, you know, the cover of your journal books or things like that. These butterflies are just amazing. And again, I love butterflies. They hold a special meaning for me. And so 
for me, anything I can do that includes butterflies is a good project. So, and I, I seem to get a lot of uh, a lot of people liking to view the butterfly videos. So, okay, so we have our butterfly all cut out and ready to go. And you can see it looks really pretty just as a paper butterfly. You can use these, cut them out, just use the paper butterflies for your journals. You know, you can. Um, glue them over your images and things when you're putting your journals together. They're just awesome. Um, so this is one of the ones that I thought maybe I would double up because I have a, a little bit smaller one and a bigger one. So I've got those butterflies. This is a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. I love this one. And on this one, no, those are both the same size. Um, I did, I cut out this one, which I thought was really pretty because it's got flowers in it. Here's another one that has flowers. So I thought maybe we'd do that. And then, of course, here's one more that has flowers. And these are all ones that I have not done yet. So, and then these are some of the ones that I showed you guys um, that I did do some of. I did a whole set of these and these are all just gorgeous, gorgeous butterflies. I love the color combinations in these and they just come out so crisp when you cover them in the resin. So I really love them. Um, so anyway, we've got our butterflies cut out. I'm going to get my bottle of resin and I've got my UV lamps standing by right here. We'll just kind of move these back just so that they're out of the way. We're going to work on one butterfly at a time. So let's do this one. <clears throat> and as I go, I generally get to where I've got three or four going at one time because I do like to run them through the UV light twice. Oh, the other thing that I have here is my, I've got um, my Flora, Cla Flora Craft Diamond Dust here. I um, honestly, I love the Twinklets brand and I have a jar of that somewhere around here, but I can't find it right now. So we're just going to use this. This is just as nice. You can see I used that on these and they came out gorgeous. So it's really pretty much the same as the Twinklets. Um, I don't even know why I have a preference to be honest with you but you know how you get to use in one brand so I'm gonna hold this on one side I'm just gonna take my resin and it's this easy and it's not gonna overflow just be careful when you get to the edges just to keep it keep your bottle kind of aimed this way trying not to let it go over the edge but if you do it right it's not gonna overflow you just want a thin layer of the resin Just like that. And I thought instead of putting these out in the sun today, I just want to use the lamp and show you guys with your own equipment. You know, if you're going to stay in the house, you want to do this in the house, make sure you have a mask to wear over your face, over your mouth and your nose. Again, I am not wearing one right now just because of the video purposes. Um, but it's always best because resin does have uh, chemicals in it so you want to be careful because if you're not and you do it very often or what have you you can end up with respiratory issues and you don't want that okay so I've got that done and in fact I know I can see here that I am just not even close to being close enough to this <clears throat> I'm going to take my diamond dust here. I'm just going to put my jar right there and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of this. Right over the top and then I'm going to take the sides and I'm just going to, like I would do if I was using triple thick, and you can see with these butterflies the resin does not cause them to fade and I print my stuff on an inkjet printer so that's what I've got 
Let me hold that still for a minute and see if I can get my camera to focus in. There we go. So that's what it looks like. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my butterfly down. I'm going to put this kind of off to the side here. I'm going to put it under my lamp and I'm going to turn it on. And this will go for about a minute. And while that's happening, let's go ahead and let's do this double one real quick. Oh, and the other thing that I didn't tell you, and I'll, I'll show you on this one. Um, when I do this on the wings, I do not, when I first start doing these, I do not cover the middle section, the whole body. And the reason I don't do that is because if I cover this whole butterfly, including the middle, these wings are going to go like that. Once the, the, the lamp gets on it, the wings are going to start curling up. If you leave this middle section without the resin and you just do the wings at first, it's going to stay, it's not going to stay completely flat. It'll just move up just like a natural butterfly wing would look. Just barely it'll tip up. And you'll see this other one as I pull it out. So we've already... And you don't want to touch the top of this right away. You want to, because it's it's still warm and you'll get fingerprints on it if you touch the top of it. But that one is completely cured. Look at the sparkle in that. And you can see by looking at that. That's all that it bent. So we're going to set that one aside. And then what I do is I put them all aside and then I start doing the bodies last. And, um, and then let them... Uh, I do several of them at a time, put them under the lamp and let them cure and they will stay in the position that they're already in from the first uh, curing process. So, because now you can't, because the wings are already covered in resin, they aren't going to move. They can't curl, they can't, they can't change position. So, so, okay, I've got that side covered. I'm going to turn it around. I see that I missed this edge here. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it around and I'm going to do this side. Again, not covering the center of the butterfly. Remember that, you guys. That's pretty important because when I was first doing these, that's exactly what I was doing. I was covering the entire butterfly. And I realized they were curling so much, so I decided to just try uh, try one without doing the body part, and I noticed it came out a whole lot better. So I was thrilled that I was able to do it without getting those wings to curl up so much. Okay, so we've got that covered. Going to get our glass glitter. And sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. And be generous with your glass glitter. Don't, don't be shy. I've got quite a bit on there and I'm going to rub my edges here. And a good thing to do with this glass glitter as well would be to take a toothpick and just kind of tap the top like this. And tap that glass glitter down just a bit so that you don't have a whole bunch of pieces sticking up. Now glass glitter, you guys know, is glass. And the thing about it is that it can get a bit catchy um, on the top there if it's not flat. Well, you're probably not going to flatten out every single piece, but you're going to get it so it's better. But um, it still will be a little bit um, rough on the top. So we're going to go ahead and do this one as well, because this is going to go on top of the other one. And I'm just going to do a few of these, you guys, so that you guys can see what they look like and the different varieties that I have. And you can see also as you go along, you just kind of get faster and faster at this, and you can make a bunch of butterflies in no time. Or you can buy them in my shop when I get them in there. I'm going to have 
a bunch of them in there. And I have a feeling, you guys, I'm just letting you know now, the last time I did butterflies, they went super duper fast. Um, they don't last in my store. I guess butterflies are a big deal for a lot of people. So you can see it was a minute under that light, and the light's already gone off on that one. And I haven't even finished sprinkling my glass on this one yet. So that's how quick the process goes. And it's fun, therapeutic in a way. Now, while I'm doing this, I am sort of touching this resin here and there. So it would be good if I was wearing gloves. But I'm not worried about that because I've got my alcohol and I'm just going to kind of try and get in here to clear this and then uh, oops and I want to tap the top a little bit with my toothpick just to get that glass kind of tapped down a little bit okay and we'll pull that one out and we're gonna put that one in just like that and then here's what that one looks like. You guys, it doesn't get much better than that. Look at that. Oh my goodness, they are so pretty. Okay, so let's do another flowered one and then we'll do one or two of these. Um, let's see, which ones do we wanna do? I love this one. And let's see, we will do this one. And I want to do this one. Okay, so that's those are the ones that we'll do today. So let's go ahead and start working on this one. Get our little assembly line going. And even if like this one's got the flowers, I can pull that right up to the edge of those flowers. I'm trying to see if I can get my light over here because I can see that my light is not so good right here okay so but now it's in my eyeballs all right there we go okay and this is just kind of sticking out right here and okay <clears throat> that side. I'm sorry, I've got somebody talking outside and they're being very loud. I hope you guys can't hear it. They're not yelling or anything, but they're just talking loud. So, Okay, so we've got that one. Let's get our glass glitter here. And you guys can see that. And beautify this up with some glitter. And the beauty of glass glitter is that it's clear and you can still see the image underneath. So you don't distort your image as long as you don't go way too crazy with the glass glitter because you can do that to where it cloud makes it cloudy. But you can see in these, we haven't made them cloudy. We've just made them sparkle. So there's that one. We're going to pull this other one out of the light and pop that one in. And I'm going to... I'm going to set this back a little bit here. Okay. Put my cap over there. And let's see. Let's go ahead and do this one here. Okay. I've got this light right in my face, but that's okay. I think I can see well enough to do this. I'm 
getting a little bit warm here. I think I need to take my jacket off. I'm going to do that real quick. Whew! Okay, that's better. All right. And let's get the other side. And our light went off on our little UV lamp. So that one's going to be ready. And then this one will be ready to go on. All right. Okay. Let me get my glass glitter. And you'll see how many of these we're going to get done in the little time that we do this video. We're going to have a bunch of these done that we can work with. And we'll tap that down. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, and let me pull this one out and pop that one in. Okay, so there's that one. I'll get this light out of the way in just a minute, you guys. Um, I'm thinking that it's kind of not working like that. I just feel like it's dark when this thing is on. It gets darker up here when this light is on. So that's why I'm just trying to kind of push it back a little bit out of the way. Okay, and let's go ahead and do this one. Just a couple more. And then we'll get the bodies done. And then we will double up a couple of these so you can see what that looks like. I'm kind of wondering if I need to put my camera down just a little bit farther here. There you go. Maybe I should have done that a long time ago. I know I put it closer, but I don't think I did it quite close enough. And here we are with our glass glitter. You guys hang in for the end of this video because you're not going to believe, well you're going to believe because you've already seen some of them, but these are going to be gorgeous and I really want you to see the ones that I've doubled up and how pretty those are and and those I mean they're really great for putting on top of mem memory boxes and things like that so we'll get that one under the lamp and I think I'll do one of each of these and then we'll be done real quick And I know our video, let's see, we're on almost a half hour here. I should be done with these completely in the next 10 minutes or so. So it won't be too bad. And I may cut a little bit out of this video just from when my husband came in and showed me his little project. and. I don't need that in there. It's so funny because just about every time I do a video he pops in and shows me something he's working on. <laughs> but it's normally if it's something I think you guys would like to see I will show you guys what he's brought in but that wasn't really anything that you guys would be worried about. Okay so that's that one. We're going to put that under the lamp, 
pull our other one out and we have one more to do here and this is a really pretty butterfly I really really like this one so I wanted to show you guys um, I did a smaller one of this this is the other one that I just did um, but I wanted to show you guys this one done too this one's a little bit bigger than the one that I already did I did a smaller one and I loved it so much that I decided to make some bigger ones in this um, this style as well because I love this butterfly and this is kind of more of a regular butterfly pattern you know, no flowers or anything like that in it but I just love it I love the colors I love the pattern that's in it it kind of gives off like a diamond pattern kind of in the center of the butterfly so I thought this was just going to be a really pretty one to do Okay, so we have our resin, and I don't want that dumped over, and we'll get our glass glitter on there, scrape the edges, just barely, you just barely have to touch the edges to get the, um, the glass to kind of either fall off or go back onto the top of the butterfly so all right tap 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 this one's done this one's ready to bake and now we're going to do the bodies so we're just going to take these and kind of line them up here and I'm just going to put a thin line going right down the middle of the body. And when you've got these tails, you want to make sure you get that tail too. And I'm just going to take my toothpick right here because I did get it to kind of go over the edge there and I don't want that. Okay, so that one's ready. And just as easy as that, you guys. Easy peasy. And I don't put the glass glitter in the bodies of these. Um, you can, but I don't. I just leave it just with the resin in the center. Because I feel like it's um, kind of a their surface and if you want to glue um, some rhinestones down the body it's a it's a smoother surface to glue them down to you know so that they're they lay flatter okay and then we'll grab this one put a little bit on its body and let's see how many of these we can put under this lamp at one time so the smaller ones you can put I'm going to just kind of set that like that so I know how far I can go. And I'm just going to slide a few of them under there. And I've got four of them there. They were more smaller ones. And actually I can pop those two right under there and they're going to get the black light as well everything is getting seen by the black light and now I've got a little bit of resin on my fingers no problem I'm gonna grab a little piece of paper towel that I have here oops I'm sorry you guys and we're done with the glass glitter so we can put that aside I do have an alcohol wipe I think I will wipe my fingers off with this a little bit and what happens is you'll feel the resin especially once you've put your hands under that black light it will start to cure on your fingers but once you use this alcohol it will um, help break it up 
and you can get it right off. No problem. And it gets kind of sticky-ish, so a lot of times what I do is I'll pour alcohol on my fingers because it's still a little sticky. Those little uh, towelettes are not the greatest. Um, I'm going to put those two in there. But you can pour it on your fingers, rub it in really good, put some soap on top of that, you know, get, get your soap going, rub that around on there, and rinse them under hot water, dry your hands off, and they'll be perfectly clean. Because I had some on here that was crunchy and cured, and it's, it's off. I just have a little bit of, maybe a, a little bit of stickiness still left there, which I will get off the next time I... Um, wipe my fingers. So we've got these two going. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take this one and we're going to we're going to double it. And I wish, you know what? I did. I made a mistake. I'm going to show you where I made my mistake. So we're going to do one more, you guys. I'm sorry because I made my mistake on the body. And let me show you what I do when I want to make a double butterfly. Because we've got the bottom one, which is the bigger one. Always put the bigger one on the bottom and the small one on top. I'm sure everybody probably knows that, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, but I will show you in a minute why you want to um, do the top one differently. So this is the smaller size. Luckily I had two of the smaller ones already cut out. So, okay. Let's put a little bit of glass glitter on here. And we're going to do just like we did the first time as far as the first um, curing process. We're just going to lay it in there and let it cure. Get our glass off the edges. And we have not put anything on the body. Those two are done. And we're going to hit that un under the lamp real quick. Just like that. I'm going to keep that one there. And then I'll show all of these to you guys um, in just a minute. I think I will take, I'm going to use some of these jewels here. And jewel the body of one of these. If I can find one that this goes good with. Maybe we'll do that on this one. I thought these would be pretty to use as a body piece. And I just, I got this bracelet in some Happy Mail and what a perfect way to use it. It's, like I said, this lamp makes the, the light weird. But this is just a red uh, rhinestone with some clear rhinestones around the edges. It was a bracelet. Okay, so that light went off. So now what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to put resin on the body, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time. Go down the tail. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slightly bend it just like that so that these wings do come up for this top butterfly. Just like that. And then I'm going to pop it back under the light. And get that cured my lid back on my glass glitter and my lid on my resin
This is going to be really pretty, you guys. And I promise you'll be able to see it. Oh, gosh, I hope I wasn't off camera for any of that other stuff that I just did. I just realized that I was probably doing it right here, and I was probably off camera. Ugh. It's hard because my can't my my visual for my camera is up over my head and sometimes I don't think to look up to see where I'm at in the camera. Okay. So, you can see this one is cured and it's slightly bent kind of in a V shape. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take Let's see, where's my E6000? We're going to take a little bit of E6000 and a little bit of hot glue. And we're just going to place that on the bigger butterfly. Put a little bit there, a little bit there of the E6000. And then we're going to put hot glue in the center. And then we're going to quickly sure my cords are not all wrapped around each other. We're going to quickly add this one to the top. So I think I'm going to put it in the center of this one and set that right there. And it's just those top wings are just a little bit um, there's probably a quarter of an inch space between um, most of it, like like at the top side, there's a little bit of a space there you can see. But look at how pretty that looks, doubled up. Is that not gorgeous? And this butterfly here is just slightly smaller than this one, like an eighth of an inch maybe, all the way around, smaller. And look at how gorgeous that came out. And then, if we take this, I don't know which way I would want to put it, or even if I want to put it on there, I'm not sure. We can put that jewel on there. I'm, I'm not crazy about it. That would be pretty maybe on this one, or maybe I'm just putting it the wrong direction. Let's see what it looks like going that way. No, I don't think that's the right piece to go on there. Let me see if I can find another jewel real quick to add to this. I'm sorry, you guys. I should have been a little more prepared. This is a blue one. This would be pretty on this one. Maybe. Maybe that's too big. Oops. Eh, I don't think I have the right piece to put on these right now, so we're not gonna we're not gonna bejewel this. I don't want to ruin it. I won't do it just to put something on there. So um, anyway, you don't need it. Look at all that beautiful glitter. There is enough beauty in these that you don't need to jewel them up. Look at those. You guys, these are simple and they're gorgeous. And if you want to get some in my Etsy shop, be sure to go on over there. I will have my link in the description menu. But I'm telling you, honest to goodness, um, you will have to hurry and get over there because these will absolutely go super fast. And I'm saying that from experience. Whenever I do butterflies... Um, certain ones go so fast and you guys know just by looking at these these are gonna go really fast I have I will make sure that they are in my shop by the time this video gets out so um, so that you guys can get them um, but you know I have a whole bunch of them I don't know how many I'm gonna put in a pack they'll be mixed mix mixed and matched um, so it'll be uh, a whole mixture of different butterflies. Um, 
depending on the sizes, maybe three or four butterflies in a package, maybe two if it's bigger butterflies. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I have a lot more that I have to do before I can put this video up and get these going into my shop. So I got to get to work. Um, so anyways, you guys, thanks for watching this video today. I hope you guys loved it as much as I did. This is awesome. And I am going to be making a lot, a lot, a lot of butterflies. Um, so just, just know that I will be getting a lot of these available. Oh, you know what, you guys, I just thought of something. Uh, where are my flowers? I want to see if I do... A small paper rose I want to try that on this one or maybe one of the other ones I don't know maybe like a small paper rose in the middle of this one look at ugh, look at that it's so pretty I'm gonna see if I have a little white one because usually when I put flowers on these I like to put a couple of flowers on them not just one so here I have another one of these oops I dropped it right back in the box and it's sunk down. Okay, so here, maybe, let's see, maybe one of these other ones. Here's a, this one would be pretty with these flowers. I'm just gonna show you, I'm not gonna glue it on, but look at that. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus, 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 there we go, look at that. And now let's try it on this one. These two flowers don't really match, so that's why I'm not going to glue them on. They're actually it would work with this one because the flowers and the butterfly are different colors too. But so there's that one. Focus. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, so, and then, so what I might do is I might take some of these, um, depending on the look of the butterfly, the, the style, like I've got, uh, maybe this one, I might put, you know, flowers on a couple of them. That didn't go that great with that one. Maybe like this one, you know, so I'll see that flower's just a little bit big. I might have to find some smaller flowers. I don't have a lot of the really tiny flowers. I think I have a few rose buds. I don't have a lot of the tiny flowers right now though. So um, for me to do that, I, I don't have a lot that I can work with right now. So, um, but at some point I will, I will have more of them um, and I'll be able to, um, add some different flowers. Now this flower looks good with this butterfly because it's like a, it has more of a vintagey look. So the color of that butterfly would be perfect for the, or that rose would be perfect for this butterfly. So if I had, you know, a smaller one that I put, you know, down here, that would be absolutely stunning and gorgeous. So um, this one I may do something special with. I'm going to have to look around at my embellishments and see what I can come up with. And some of these other ones I may be doubling up as well. So anyway, thanks a lot, you guys. Here I go rambling on again. I appreciate you coming over and watching this video and joining me for um, one of the kinds of projects that um, stirs my soul. Um, I love butterflies, and, and this is super fun to do. Look at my bowl of butterflies. Um, so stay tuned. Um, get over to my Etsy shop. Take a look and see if you can find these butterflies and um, if you can get over there in time to get some of them. I will be making more, though, you guys. I think this is one of those things that I've decided I'm going to try and really get busy. That's why I bought a lot more resin. I'm going to really get busy and make a ton of these butterflies so that I will have a whole bunch um, available in my shop for you guys to purchase. Um, and these ones that I just got, the, that I did for you today, are some of the most beautiful butterflies I have found. Uh, but like I said, I do have just some regular style butterflies. This one is absolutely stunning. I love, love, love this one. So I'll be, I'll be making a bunch of these. Um, and then, like this one, 
That one is absolutely gorgeous too. And then where's some of my other plainer ones? Let's see. This is just a plain little, uh, very shabby chicish butterfly. I gotta show you guys some of these. This is one of my favorite butterflies that I do. I love this butterfly, and this butterfly is one of the ones that sells the most in my store. So I will be putting together a whole bunch of these. I'll be making a bunch of those. Um, I've got like this one, super pretty. This one is black with some yellow spots in the wings. And then I have this blue one. This one does not have any uh, glass glitter on it, but this one is also a folded butterfly so that it's it looks like it's flying. The other thing that I want to try doing is putting them back to back and making them double-sided, you know, doing some double-sided ones so that if you have a project where you need them to be double-sided, you can do that or maybe just to sell some of the butterflies um, that are not put together yet so that you guys can decide what you want to do you know that could be another way to go um, so let me show you just this last few this one's very very pretty and these I love these just have flowers on them but they're really really pretty this one does not have glass glitter on it but it probably will before I'm finished um, and then I also, what I want to do is I have some tiny butterflies. I want to do some tiny ones as well. Because I know sometimes you just have a need for a little tiny butterfly. And sometimes all these big ones are not going to be very helpful for you. Especially if you want to put them like on the inside of a journal. Um, I want to do some flat tiny butterflies. Um, so I will be doing that as well. So... Uh, just be on the lookout. I will continue to put these into my Etsy shop for you guys so that they are available, but it's going to take me some time to really make a whole bunch of them. And I'm going to get to work on that right now. Have a great and blessed day. Stay safe. Stay well. Stay happy. Um, be kind to other people. Um, and smile even when things seem like they're not worth smiling about because you know what? Sometimes just being happy and smiling makes you feel better about the rest of your day. I know I find that to be very true. So um, smile and take care of yourselves, you guys. Um, I will see you in the next video. God bless everyone. Bye-bye.